Okay, in this video I want to take the time to show you uh, why this TTP Trends Exits Bloodhound template is going to be useful for you and kind of walk you through an example. So what I've done here is I have built a new entry, just a very simple entry. Uh, it's quite similar to the one that came with the original package. Uh, so rather than having the TTP Trends Exits test, this is the TTP Trends Exits test 2. All right, so when I open this up, you'll see that all I've done here is I've switched out this crossover, this is an indicator crossover solver, with this one. So what I was showing you before would be this entry. All right, so this crossover is when the closing price is crossing over the slow line of this um, TTP trend bands indicator. So when it crosses the slow moving line, the fast moving line is obviously this uh, ADX VMA that, you know, when the market pulls back, it goes sideways. And then the slow line is the one underneath it. All right, which is the Tilson T3. So when it's coming down, the fast line is the one on the bottom, and the slow line is the one on the top. But then when it starts to pull back, the fast line goes sideways, and then the slow line breaks through it. You see that? So it's a little bit tricky, maybe slightly uh, complicated. But what I've done is instead of using the closing price crossing through the slow line, I'm now using the closing price crossing through the fast line for the entry. Okay, so I'm going to substitute this one out. I'm going to delete that. Reconnect the fast, the closing price crossing the fast line. Okay, and then you can see we've we've just got um, uh, a few other conditions. I won't go into the details of those uh, in this video. What we're going to do now is we're going to optimize the best profit target and stop loss for this chart we're using a 576 tick chart uh, on 50 days of data all right so I'm going to with the strategy analyzer open right click on CL 914 and then click on optimize okay and that will op open the optimizer here so then I will add SI Raven select that template which is here at the top of the list, TTP Trends Exits Test 2. Click OK. And then the entry is all the way down at the bottom with Trends All Entry. So that's the new entry that I've just developed. And rather than using any exit logic, what I'm going to do is set a profit target and a stop loss and this is what I'm going to optimize for. So we'll say the minimum stop loss should be, I don't know, let's say 16 ticks. Well, let's say 14 ticks. And we'll go as high as 50. Yeah, let's say 16. And stop loss could be anything from 8 to 30. All right, and we're going to test that in increments of two. So let me explain what this is now. So we're optimizing the profit target and the stop loss. All right, the first number is the lowest profit target you want to use. All right, so the first test that's going to be run, remember, the optimizer is going to run a series of tests of multiple combinations of these different levels for the stop loss and the profit target. So the first test will be a 16 tick profit target with an 8 tick stop loss. All right, then the second test will be an 18 tick profit target because remember we're uh, going up in a scale of two ticks. So we'll go from 16 to 18 to 20 to 22. Uh, and likewise for the stop loss, two ticks. So we're going from 8 to 10 to 12 to 14. All right, so the first test is 16 profit, 8 tick stop. Then at uh, 16 tick profit with a 10 tick stop then a 16 tick profit with a 12 tick stop and so on all the way up to 30 
And then we go to an 18 tick profit target with a stop loss of eight, 18 tick profit target with a stop loss of 10, 12, 14, and so on all the way up to 30. And then once we finally reach up to a 50 tick profit target, then it will analyze the results from all of those and it will give us the top 10 best results. Okay, and we'll optimize for max profit factor and maximum net profit are usually pretty similar, but we'll just say net profit. And let me choose the, uh, the days here. So we want 30 days, 40 days, 50 days, let's say. Mm, let's say the beginning of, not quite the beginning of June. So let's say June 9th to uh, August 1st. Let me just make sure all the settings are correct. Looks good. We need to change this to a tick. Remember, we're using a 576 tick, so 576. And we're good to go. So now we just run the optimization. And this could take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. I'll bring this down. You can see how long it's going to take here. Uh, and usually it takes about two or three minutes before it starts to register a time. Uh, it has to you know, run through a couple of calculations. Once it gets through a couple, then it sees how many it has left and it will uh, kind of generalize the amount of time that it will take to finish. Okay, so I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pause it here and then we'll pick it back up once we get some results. And then I'll show you how to test uh, you know, with those, that best profit target and stop loss against the multiple different exit uh, logic tabs that I have built in to this Bloodhound template. And I think that will be, uh, you know, kind of a good overview of how you're going to be using this. Okay, so I've been letting this run uh, for a little while now. And you can see it has about an hour and 15 minutes to go. Uh, so quite a large test actually. I mean that is um, a lot of different tests from you know 16 to 50 and then from 8 to 30 in two tick increments. So quite a few tests having to perform on about 50 days. So we'll give that a little bit uh, you know however long it takes and then we'll come back and analyze these results and then test the, uh, the exit conditions. Okay, so I've run an optimization with our new entry and you can see the optimization here. We're optimizing the profit target and the stop loss, but now uh, I've done this optimization using only the regular trading hours, so only the pit traded session. So from 9 a.m. Central, I'm sorry, 9 a.m. Eastern to 2.30 p.m. Eastern for crude oil, okay? So we're right at 4,700. Okay, and the settings for that, again, are 24 and 24. Okay, so this is with no exit logic, just with a profit target and a stop loss. So now I've created a new exit. So that's going to be a, a brand new exit uh, for this template. And this seems to be the best performing exit for this kind of a trim trade, uh, which is really what this is, more or less a, a type of trim trade. And it's essentially saying that when, uh, let's say we were short from right here, when the high of the bar breaks below the previous swing low, and I'm using the, the swing setting sensitivity of 12 in this case. All right, I haven't um, played around with many different numbers. I just kind of thought I would use a larger number, and it's turned out to be a, a pretty decent uh, exit now. So when the high breaks below the previous swing low, then we're exiting our short. And when the low of the bar breaks above the previous swing high, then we would exit our long. Okay, so now we're going to optimize using this exit. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to increase this now. Let's say, let's go up to 50. Let's go to 52. And we'll start at 24. We'll start here at 24 as well, just so we don't have to, you know, wait two hours. And um, select our exit. So the exit is going to be this one. So we're exiting at the previous swing. Good to go. 
and just quickly let's look at the uh, the summary results so we have a profit factor of 1.6 sharp ratio of 1.2 which you know whatever average trade $58 okay this is without slippage or commission so now we're going to run it with this exit okay still optimizing for the optimal profit target and stop loss to use in conjunction with this exit logic template so it's essentially whichever one's hit first either this exit the profit target or the stop loss and you can see we're looking to get better than 1.6 or 4700 or 58 dollars per trade uh, percent profitable is about 62 which is pretty good all right so now let's run it and I'll pause this and we'll pick it back up looks like it's gonna take about an hour okay so there we have it 5900 you can see we have a profit target of 52 stop of 26 uh, together with this exit using the previous swing low or, or high we have a 1.9 profit factor 80 trades 66 percent profitable average trade is 74 bucks max consecutive losers is three largest winning trade is 52 obviously because we have a 52 tick stop um, 52 tick target and then the largest losing trade is 260 so even if we added in uh, commission and slippage uh, this would still be a profitable strategy all right so not bad so um, this is what this template is all about helping you to find to find the best exit for the entry that you're using so we have multiple different exits that you can test with uh, until you find a combination that suits your time frame and entry so that's really what this is all about so I thought I would provide uh, a decent example like this uh, and also give you this um, just kinda throw in this entry for you and this exit so this would be a new exit so I'll send this template uh, here now